Hello, today we're doing a Canva tutorial on how to make Christmas cards and I'm going to show you how to do it in less than five minutes. So we're going to get started. Go ahead and get on canva.com. I'll put the link below and you're going to go to templates. You're going to search up Christmas cards. Whoops, my caps is on. <clears throat> and here you go. You have tons and tons of Christmas cards to choose from and mind you I buy them every year and it's only $25 so I'm gonna show you let's just pick one uh, I like this one so you're going to choose the one that you like you can customize it on the side premium paper deluxe paper hemp paper I always like to, you can also do this at the end when you're checking out so don't worry about this right now just go to customize this template And obviously this is not me. So we're going to upload the pictures that you want and you're going to replace it. So you can either drag it over. You can also um, do this on your phone. And there you go. Obviously you're going to edit the family. You can also, if you want to customize it, you can change the background to like a red or a green. You can obviously make it, let's do a red and then go to, let's do a gradient color to green. <clears throat> Christmas vibes okay and then you can go over to elements and obviously I've already made a few other tutorials about this but let's just say I want um, Christmas theme stuff I'll just put in Christmas and here you can see basically I love bows so I always like add a bow in here And then obviously you can just click on whatever else that you like. This is fun. Um, what did I do last time? A little flower in there. We can do gingerbread. You can just have fun with it. I like to have fun with my Christmas cards. If you want, you could do um, ornaments, ornaments, ornaments right there. And I always like the realistic looking ones. Let me see if I can find them. Or like the drawing ones. These ones look really cute. But since I already have something like realistic up here, let's look for... This one's good. Okay, maybe I don't like that. Um, let's see if I want to do put some snow in there. I like this one. Perfect. Okay, and there you have it. So like, let's say you want to then print. So you go over to the side here, you click print with Canva. I always like to put the um, the years on it too. So I literally just looked for 2025 and then I picked something that I like. This is like Christmassy. There you go. Um, if we want to do something like a little more fancy, let's go back to our home page and let's do the same thing. Christmas card. Obviously, I've made a ton down here. Oh, templates. All right. I always like um, ones that'll like pop because 
a lot of other people just use like the white card. So I always try to find something that'll like pop because of people. I have a friend who hangs all of her Christmas cards that she gets up. And when I looked at it, mine popped because we had a lot of colors in it. <laughs> so like a candy cane, like something like this. Um, let's see. They also have like the landscape looking type cards. I like those too because not a lot of people do them. You have tons and tons to choose from. So let's just do... Hmm. Ooh, this one's this one's looks good. And you can pick any one and just customize it. There we go. I love the bow. Uploads. We're going to swap it out. And my son's face is cut off, so I just double clicked and dragged it down. And let's center us a little bit. There we go. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I want to add some elements. 2025. And then we can add... I'm just going to put Xmas. This is literally how easy it is. Oh, look at this little um, reindeer. He's poking out the side. Oh my God, I love that. We're going to keep him there. Oops. We'll put him up top. And then we can add... I love messing with some of the, the lights like this, but sometimes it doesn't go together like that. If it's not really going, I'll put Santa on the other side. That's so cute. Okay. We already have a bow. We can put like little greenery. Sometimes it messes up. It'll try to put, if you drag this, it'll try to put it in the picture. I find what's best is instead of moving it with your mouse, you make it small enough to move it with this little grid thing right here. And then if you want to drag it, you can. But I'm going to put it down here in this corner. All right, and there you go. I don't think I'm going to add anything else. doesn't really need anything if you want to add text, you can say, you know, the last name. You can do the Smiths. And then <clears throat> move this bow. Oopsie. I'm going to make this shaped. Okay, and then let's see if we can change the font. There we go, that looks so cute. Okay, so let's say I'm all done. I love how this fits up here. Um, you go to continue. It says $50 right here. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> you can pick um, what kind of paper you want. I always just do the premium, and I always really like um, the matte finish, and I like to round my corners. I'm going to do 25 cards because I don't send out more than 25. Um, and then I also want to include the envelope, so it's about $4.75, which is awesome. Go to continue, and obviously you can see my subtotal is literally $25 just to make this whole thing. And obviously if you don't want any elements, you can change it while you're doing this. And let's see. Let's see if I can put the... Hmm. 
yeah, if I want it just like a little cleaner, I can take all that out. Obviously the bow, I just kind of put it off to the side. Still super cute. And we can add some greenery in there. I'm <laughs> still changing it. I love creating Christmas cards, clearly. Oh yeah, I love putting this little, oops. And if it says danger, that's fine. It'll still print the way you want it. Like, I think this is so cute. Oh, my God. Or we can put the bow right here. Where are we going to put the bow? Okay, we'll keep it at the top. What if I add another one? Let's see how that looks. And we'll put it to the back. You can um, position it. Just click on it and go to position and you can send it to the front. Obviously it's gonna cut off the words right there so we're gonna send it back. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Okay, so when you hit continue, it'll tell you if you need to fix any issues. So it says automatically fix three issues, you can do that and it, boom, it's already done for you. Um, you can download the PDF and you can check out. All right, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this.